Well, Becky Cordham is probably the best girls hockey player ever to suit up for Hopkins. After four years of college hockey at the University of Minnesota, Cordham is back at her old high school as an assistant coach. Here's Jason Malolo with more. Becky Cordham was Miss Hockey in 2009, her senior year at Hopkins High School, and led the Royals to the state tournament. Cordham is back at her alma mater this winter, giving back as an assistant coach. I had such a positive experience in my high school career, and uh, this program and Coach P gave me so much um, in my hockey career and in my life, so I just really wanted to come back, and I, I've known all the girls since they were really little, so it's been fun to watch them grow up, and I just wanted to do my part to give back to the program and try to help them have the best season they can. It's important that she comes back and gives back because a lot of people spent a lot of time helping her, and our philosophy is you gotta, when you have time, you got to come back and help out the program, and... She's done a great job. We're lucky to have her. Our kids love her, and, uh, you know, I couldn't ask for anything more. Corbin went from Hopkins to the University of Minnesota, where she played four years for the Gophers, winning national titles in 2012 and 2013. With a hockey resume like that, Corbin can offer a lot to this current group of Royals. I think that what I bring is something that helps these girls to figure out their path because they're on the path that I was on before and I've had the experiences that hopefully a lot of them will have in the future. Cordham graduated from Minnesota with a degree in physiology and wants to go to medical school. She's now going through the arduous task of applications and interviews and should start hearing back from schools in the spring. Jason Malillo, 12 Sports. Becky tells us her first choice would be attend med school back at the University of Minnesota. On the ice, the Royals are 12-1 and will play in a holiday tournament at Braemar Arena in Edina later this week.